All right, Pisces. This is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with a Virgo. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, and sisters, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading. This is going to be for Pisces dealing with a Virgo placement. Thank you guys for all your likes, subscribes, your comments, your shares. I appreciate you guys more than you ever know. More than you'll ever know. All right, so let's see. What messages do we have? This is for November 13th through the 23rd. Messages for Pisces dealing with a Virgo. Keep in mind, energy can be reversed. So flip it, switch it according to your situation. If you feel like you resonate more with Virgo side or any of the messages that I lay down, in the beginning, then uh, flip it, switch it. If it's not you, it could be the other person if this sounds like your story. Okay. All right. So single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading. Spirit, you already know how we roll. We got you think someone is lying. They are. Okay. So either you think that someone is lying or Virgo thinks someone is lying. We got, you need a big effing hug, squeeze. So either you or Virgo may need a hug <clears throat> or someone in your guys' energy may need a hug. Either you could think each other is lying. One may think the other is lying. Someone in your energy or Virgo's energy may feel like someone is lying. It doesn't specify who. It's just saying that you think someone is lying, then they are, okay? You're probably right. <clears throat> All right, two more messages, please. This is from the Rebel deck for any of you guys that are curious. All right, single cards only. We got, you are the best thing that ever happened to you. Go easy on your ass, buy your own damn drink. So some of you guys could be being too hard on yourself. Virgo could be being too hard on themselves. Um, it's time to appreciate you. Show yourself some appreciation. <laughs> okay, we got get over yourself, pull your ish together, help people, give back, do good shit for humanity. <clears throat> that could be a message for you, Pisces. That could be a message for Virgo. So let's move on to the Andromeda Skies. Oracle. Let's see what messages come out of here. This is just for your guys' clarification as to your situation. Some things may resonate, others may not. So what else do you got for Pisces dealing with Virgo? So anywhere where you have Pisces or Virgo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node placements, this reading could resonate with you. This is just the energy surrounding these two signs. So destiny is taking us down different paths. I will find my way back to you one day and please forgive me. So you guys may feel like destiny is taking you two down different roads. You may have different goals, different dreams. Damn, what is up with this card? You guys, okay. I've done, th this is the third uh, sign that I've done. And I started one earlier today and then got interrupted. And this card has came out for all four. So this is, this was just a fleeing. So some of you may feel like um, someone just may have wanted, you know, one night energy. Yeah, this uh, one-sided relationship friends and family disapprove of this connection <clears throat> all right so this is going to be from the hidden truth um oracle let's see keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with you this is the hidden truth, so whatever has been left unsaid between these two energies, Holy Spirit, and your guides. I lost myself for a little while. I feel you, even though we are apart. That came out for Capricorn. I lost myself for a little while. I look for you everywhere. So you may be at the grocery store, hear somebody, see somebody, and I regret lying to you. <clears throat> and I couldn't let you get close to me. All right, so someone, and that's crazy, it just falls like right here. Uh, you think someone is lying, they are, and then you have, I regret lying to you. So this is from the hidden truth, y'all. So this is what, you know, 
you may be unaware of or Virgo may be unaware of. Whoever lied or is possibly lying, they do have regrets over this. Um, <clears throat> someone may feel like they've lost their way. I still feel like you guys feel each other's energy, but destiny or life in general may be taking you guys down different paths. Okay, so let's move on to the tarot, see what messages we have for Pisces dealing with a Virgo. First card out is going to be for Pisces, overall energy. We will clarify as needed. Okay. All right, Pisces, what is Pisces overall energy, please? The ones dealing with a Virgo. You got the seven of pentacles. So something here, Pisces. Uh, you may be making investments, uh, managing your time wisely, um, planting seeds. Some of you may be reaping reaping the harvest of some type of seeds that were sown or something that you've planted or something that you've been working on or investing, spending your time, putting time into. Um, but this is, you know, focused on your growth, manifesting some type of growth. Show me Virgo overall energy. There's Virgo's overall energy, please. The Queen of Cups, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is a very loving energy. Uh, Self-sacrificing. Could be a mother figure or a father figure. This is just someone who's very psychic, intuitive, nurturing, compassionate, kind, caring. Um... All right, let's see. What's in Pisces emotions? The ones that are dealing with a Virgo. <laughs> Knight of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The Knight of Wands is uh, not a typically a bad energy. <clears throat> uh, you guys could, when it comes to your emotions, you could be feeling a little bit fired up or, you know, the Knight of Wands talks about making hasty decisions, taking action, going after what it is that you're passionate about. Putting some type of thought into action or even emotion into action more so than thought. So scratch the first thing I said, but maybe for some of you guys putting thought into action. This is in your emotion sector and typically the Knight of Wands doesn't really think before he acts. He just does or she, he, whoever. Okay. So you may be acting off of emotion at this time or going after something that you're passionate about. You could be investing into something, planting some type of seeds. Um, this is a very fiery, feisty, bold energy. So let's see. What is Virgo's emotions? The ones dealing with a Pisces. What is Virgo's emotions, please? The Page of Pentacles. This has been coming out a lot, too. So uh, Virgo may be thinking about sending you a message. Um, so when it comes to this person's emotions, I don't know if this is your friend or this person may be presenting you with an offer or a proposal like, hey, let's be friends. This is also an investment, laying down the foundations, the groundwork, starting something new, starting, um, you know, wanting to embark on a new opportunity or present you with something something tangible. Let's get going. Show me Pisces next move, please. <clears throat> Y'all stay tuned. This will all come together at the end. It always does. So, wow, another fire energy. Pisces, you may have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but your next move is the King of Wands. This is, you know, taking action, going after what it is that you're passionate about. This could be something entrepreneurial as well. Um, <clears throat> But the King of Wands is a go-getter. You know, it's a very attractive, confident energy. So whatever it is that you're doing or investing into or or planting seeds for, whatever this is that you're spending your time on or doing, this is something that you're extremely passionate and confident about. And I see you doing the damn thing. So, all right, let's see. What is Virgo's next move? What is Virgo's next move? What is Virgo's next move? You guys see the candle my daughter made? I 
it's in a Bath and Body Works uh, glass because we didn't have a glass the size of the candle, but she made her ver her first very own lavender candle and she lit it for me. She's so sweet. All right. Show me Virgo's next move. Sorry, y'all. I just didn't know. I looked over at it and I was like, they're probably wondering why there's a purple candle in a green cup. But, okay, Virgo. <clears throat> Nine of Swords in the reverse. So Virgo uh, is coming out of some type of fear or anxiety or worry. Uh... Virgo could be sleeping a lot. <laughs> um, but whatever this is, the Nine of Swords in the reverse is coming out of some type of fear, anxiety, worry, stress, sleepless nights. Um, this could be about reaching out and express expressing emotions or getting something started. Um, <clears throat> show me Pisces intentions when dealing with a Virgo. Show me Pisces intention. Show me Virgo's intentions. So, oh, eight of cups in the reverse, Pisces. So your intentions, uh, if you walked away from this person, you may be wanting, you know, to go back or even open up emotionally to this person. Interesting. Show me Virgo's intentions with Pisces. What is Virgo's intentions, please? Thank you. The Six of Swords. Interesting. So this could go like two different ways. Either this person's intentions is to move on, to heal, to go through some type of transition. This person could literally be relocating. Uh, for some, I'm getting the energy. If this person is thinking about traveling towards you, this is because with this page of pentacles, I feel like this person is wanting to present you with an offer. This person is in a very loving energy. The rules could be reversed here with the seven of pentacles being the overall and the queen of cups being Virgo's overall. But take it as it resonates. Um, I almost feel like both of you want to come back together is what it looks like. Or even come together if you haven't been apart. You could be very passionate about this person. You may be wanting to take action, you know, to communicate, to take some type of action towards this person. Eight of Cups in the reverse, though, is your intentions. This is this is um, <clears throat> opening up emotionally, coming out of some type of disconnect, wanting to come back around, wanting to plant seeds, wanting to invest into this. This person over here looks like they're letting go of some type of fear um, and either accepting some type of transition or move um, or this person's wanting to travel towards you, come towards you, or they're wanting to. Yeah, I feel like that's what it is. Okay, let me see what the outcome is. Five cards, single jumping cards. This can also be Virgo maybe wanting to just move move forward in life, maybe go through some type of a transition or wanting to heal, moving away from any type of conflict, letting go of fear, anxiety. Maybe they're starting some type of a new opportunity or doing something that they love, focused on self-love, self-care, laying down the foundations, the groundwork, doing the groundwork. <clears throat> I will find my way back to you one day. So, <laughs> so if you two have like had a disconnect, y'all may be like both thinking about coming towards each other. Or if this person is leaving you or moving away from you. I don't know. Let me see this outcome because this is sus. <laughs> Show me the outcome, please. Between Pisces and Virgo for November 13th through the 23rd. What is the outcome? Four cups coming out sideways. What else for Pisces still with Virgo? Nine of cups. Nine of wands. Five of wands. Okay, 
one more for Pisces, Dylan, and Virgo. I just noticed too on the bottom of the Rebel deck. We got drop the F and ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Okay. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. It's like someone wanting to open up emotionally. Um, Stella got her groove back. Whether you're a feminine or masculine, I feel like someone's embodying this very confident energy. It's almost like there could be a little bit of an arrogance to this. Um not saying that whoever's Pisces, you, whoever, is an arrogant person, but there could be, like, a little bit of arrogance to this, like, or confidence, like, confident I can come back in. <laughs> if you've walked away or they walked away from you, it's, like, confidence with whatever it is that they're taking action to, and the intention is to come back, is to open up emotionally. So someone here is, like, very confident that they can, I don't know, come back in, spend some time, or you're very confident you can come back in and spend some time. Someone here may also want some sexy time. Interesting. Someone, yeah. Pisces. Hmm. I don't know, Pisces. I might have to call you out. If you're coming in, or the roles are reversed, whatever. But if you're coming in for just some sexy time and you're confident you can come back in if you open up emotionally or something to that nature. Or you're confident that if you come in, like with all this passion and fire, that you can get someone else to open up emotionally. I feel like this is someone who's already opened up emotionally, but they're 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 no longer going to stress off a situation. This is like someone who may be in the process of like, I'm moving on. I'm healing. I'm not going to worry about this shit no more. I'm not going to stress off this. I've already offered you my heart. I've already offered you, you know, <clears throat> a friendship or I've already offered you an idea, a plan, a, something and, you know. I'm not going to worry. It's like, it's almost like someone here has put what it is that they want to offer. It's so like, let's say if this is someone you just met, it's like someone that's like, look, I like you. I want to take you out. I want to do this. I want to get something off the ground. And if you were very like, you know, passionate or lustful and then walked away from this person, <clears throat> this person's like, all right, whatever, I'm moving on. I ain't going to worry about this. I already told this person what I want and I'm not going to stress off this. So sorry, that's the way I read it. Maybe the roles are reversed. I don't know. But with this four of cups, it's like, I don't know, it came out sideways. There's something here about wish fulfillment and like wanting to give up, feeling like the wounded warrior because it's some type of com conflict, competition, competing type of energy, but also having enough persist or like enough resilience to push forward and keep going. It's like, I'm not giving up yet. Like, I may see this as my wish fulfillment. Yes, I feel like this is a missed opportunity, but I'm also not going to sit here and feel rejected. So, show me the outcome one more. So, all right. One more for the outcome, please. For Pisces, still in Virgo. I don't like the way that came out, but damn, Ten of Swords in the reverse. Can I get one more? And the Eight of Pentacles. So someone here may be wanting to, like, let some type of a betrayal go or... It's almost like putting a betrayal behind 
or there was something that happened in the past, but it's not really relevant now, a betrayal or an ending, something that's already gone, done. Obviously, if somebody's wanting to come back, there was something here. <clears throat> I do feel like someone wants to put in the work. Let me see, what's this four cups? The three of wands and the hair font, well. Hmm. Either someone here is planning for some type of higher level of commitment. Someone here could be learning something. Waiting on a contract. Waiting on... Hmm. Let me keep going. Nine of Cups. Show me this Nine of Cups, please. Justice. Show me the Nine of Wands. Five of Wands. Woo. King of Wands. Oh boy. So Pisces and Knight of Wands. Again, show me this Ten of Swords. It's the Five of Wands. So, good lord. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Kind of going along the same thing that I just said. It's like somebody here wants some hmm. why the king of wands and knight of wands it's like someone here is i feel like it's you pisces i'm sorry but flip the rules in in this spread pisces you're on this side showing up as this king of wands knight of wands energy like emotionally charged very confident. I don't know if you're just feeling yourself. <laughs> I don't know if you're just a hot, a hot topic, a hot commodity. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you got it going out. You were the best. <laughs> get over. Oh, yeah. Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Help people. Give back. Do good shit for humanity. So you may be like, and you are the best thing that ever happened to you. There could be a little bit of an ego here. I feel it. I don't care what anybody says, but there's nothing wrong with having ego as long as you're placing it in the right places and not abusing it, you know? Um, there's something here about competition, fighting, competing, or someone may also like someone fighting over them or... Uh, someone here, like the Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, it's like someone rushing in very passionately. It's, you know, Knight of Wands isn't always a bad energy. It's a go-getter. It's someone who's very like, they know what they want, where they're going, what they're doing. But then the Nine of Wands, so it's like, did someone bruise someone's ego? Are you the one that's feeling conflicted and betrayed? Is this like something turning around? It's like now you want Virgo's already like tried to put in the work or, or offer something here. I don't know. If that's not the case, Pisces, you either, you may have walked away in the past to invest into something or someone else. Let me see what the Seven of Pentacles is. In your energy. 
A five. Yeah, exactly. You walked away to invest into something else or you abandoned someone. You left somebody out in the cold and you went after something because I feel like it was maybe pride, maybe ego. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe you did something too quickly. You went after something that you were passionate about or maybe even something you were lusting after. Shit, I don't know. And now it's like you want to return. There could have also been some type of a commitment or a contract or something that may have been at a distance or maybe someone had to travel for something that could have been where the rejection or the missed opportunity took place. Show me this Knight of Wands. What does he want? What is he? What does this person want from Virgo? Because I feel like this is you, Pisces, in this energy, or whoever's on this side. Okay, whatever side you're resonating with. What does this Knight of Wands truly want? Knight of Wands, King of Wands. <clears throat> okay, can I get one more? What's this King of Wands want? Same energy, but. The same person, I should say. What does this King of Wands want? Mm. This person, whoever, Pisces, I don't know if this is you. I, it looks like it, but whatever. Aries energy is here. This looks like someone here wants a, a passionate new start. Wants to start something new or, you know... There's a lot of wand energy here, too. So I don't know if someone, like I said, was lusting over someone. Someone just wants to be free. I want to be free. I want to just live inside my Cadillac. That is my shit. And throw it up. Mm -hmm. I don't even know the lyrics, but okay. I should. Macklemore is from where I am. But anyways, I feel like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm calling someone out and I feel like you guys are going to get all mad in my comments, but I don't care. You know what? Most of the time it's me. I got Virgo always on my ass. Like, oh, you don't like Virgos. You blah, 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 blah. No, it, I love Virgos actually. But uh, this, unless the roles are reversed, I don't know. But uh, Pisces, it looks like you're just like someone's coming in for a good time. Or someone started something and then left it and now they want to come back or that's what their intentions are. It's like, oh, let me go, let me go do this and let me go do that and I can come back and finish what I started. I don't know. Uh, this other person on this other side may have like decided I've already, you know, I've already tried. I ain't worrying about this. I'm moving forward. I'm moving on. I'm going to take my little pentacle and take it elsewhere. You see this pentacle's facing this way. You see this one's facing this way. It's like I'm going to go work on something else. Put my, you know, go offer something somewhere else. Go look for something else. I don't know. Hmm. Pisces, if you went and did something and invested somewhere else and now you're feeling like left out in the cold or struggling or going through something and you try to come rushing back towards this person, you're going to get your feelings hurt with the energy that you're in. I'm just saying. I almost, I don't see the Wheel of Fortune here, but to me, honestly, like this Ten of Swords in the reverse to this Five of Wands, and then this King of Wands to this Five of Wands, which the King of Wands is up here, which is you current. This is like, this looks like something that was done in the past is returning to someone. Straight up. I'm going to leave this reading here because that's just 
what it is. All right, can I get three cards, please, for Pisces? Yeah, and you did have one-sided relationship. Friends and family disapprove of this connection, fights, arguments, and conflicts. Somebody may have also abandoned it. Like, I don't know, maybe there was some type of interference here. And someone was in their ego and just feeling, feeling some type of way, like... Friends and family could have been like, oh, go leave that Virgo. You shouldn't be with him, blah, blah, blah. And then you did something. And now it's like, that didn't work out. And now you try to return. It's like, this person's already like, I ain't tripping off this shit. I'm moving forward. I'm healing. Or my intentions, you know, the Nine of Swords reversed to the Six of Swords upright. That's like, yeah, I ain't worried about this. I'm moving on. I'm moving forward. I've already I've already tried to, like, offer something. And I'm going to take, take this and go put in work somewhere else. So, I don't know. Someone could get their feelings hurt here. But what goes around comes around, right? I mean, this is a lesson not to listen to people, you know, all, all up in your ear, boosting up your ego, having you feel like, oh, I'm free. I can... Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is also like a play in the field type of energy, too. It's like, let me go, you know try Baskin Robbins 31 flavors and all and then when those 31 flavors suck you decide to pick the best one I don't know that's that wish fulfillment justice card like this is this is the best one. <laughs> oh my god I'm done okay can I get three cards and keep in mind if this isn't your reading this isn't your reading don't shoot me down I'm picking up on some Pisces and some Virgo. And y'all can holla at me in the comments, but please don't talk shit. Just let it go if it's not your reading. Religious factors. Yeah, that could be why family and friends disapprove of this connection. Because maybe you guys have different up upbringings, different outlooks, different belief systems, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. We also have it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and give your relationship a chance. But it came out in the reverse. Someone here didn't give this relationship a chance because they weren't open to this. Maybe because of difference in belief systems. Spirit is saying it was safe. It is safe for you to love like this person, this king, queen, or excuse me, this queen of cups, man or woman, whoever, page of pentacles. I feel like this person was like honest. This is an honest, earnest offer of love. And somebody fumbled it. And now they want to come back. But now this person's like, I'm not going to sit here and rack my brain and lose sleep over this shit. I'm moving forward. I've healed. I'm moving on. Or that's what I want to do, you know? I'm not saying that it can't come back together. But with this destiny, is taking us down different paths and I will find my way back to you one day. Please forgive me. You may be the one that's like, please forgive me. You may have treated this person like it was just a fling. I'm sorry, Pisces, but that Knight of Wands, King of Wands, Ace of Wands, Fool card. Oh yeah, you was being foolish. You came, you came and rushed in, got some D or some V and you rushed the fuck out. Okay, because of maybe some type of difference in belief systems, friends, family, ego, whatever the hell it was. You didn't give this relationship a chance, even though it was safe for you to love. I feel like you felt like it wasn't. Maybe because of difference in in belief systems or, or values or morals or because of friends or whatever. You come from this place. That one comes from this place. So I'm going to dog this person out. It was safe. Or vice versa. The roles are reversed. It was safe for you, Virgo, to love this Pisces and you didn't. You know, take it as it resonates. Sometimes you guys just need to hear it flipped. I tell you guys to use discernment, but then it's still hard to hear when you know damn well the roles are reversed. So there you go. I just said it. Okay, maybe Virgo dogged you out and treated you like a fling um, because of ego, pride, uh, feeling confident, feeling full of themselves, feeling like I got the magic stick. Dun, 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 dun. If I could hit it once, I can hit, hit it twice. And then it's like coming back and this person's like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, someone's ego is going to get hurt here. But this is kind of karma, I guess. All right. Uh, true love on the bottom. Damn, this was a romance of a life. <laughs> Did you see that? I just what? Okay, I was reading that too. This is the romance of a lifetime. I just said this was the romance of a lifetime. Let go of control issues and wedding. I don't know. Only time will tell. It's not in this next 10 days, though. 
I do feel like there will be a return of some sort, but um, yeah, it sounds like you put me in competition. You you cause conflict in my life. You, uh, you know, I'm taking my offer elsewhere. And that's just as it stands right now. But I do feel like someone is realizing that you may be the better option or you're realizing they were the better option. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped, let me know. Uh, smash that thumbs up, please. Let me know how this resonated with you. I love to hear from you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.